This segment is sponsored by Bryant and Stratton College for every and in life. Certainly so many families and college bound seniors, high school graduates are evaluating plans as we move forward in this COVID-19 pandemic. Bryant and Stratton College has adapted in so many ways. We're joined today with Beth Murphy, campus director here in Richmond. Beth, it's great to see you. Oh, great to see you, Jessica. These traditional experiences, graduation, making plans to head to school in the fall, if you were thinking about that, certainly look a lot different these days. But Bryant and Stratton College has risen to the occasion and it really has embraced this change in so many ways. Well, I think that you're seeing the, the fact that Bryant and Stratton College has been around for 165 years. You know, we are a career college. And so we, we consider it our mission not just to educate, but to adapt so that we can have and produce the employees, the graduates that our employers need. So as high school uh, rising seniors, graduating seniors are considering options in the fall, why is Bryant and Stratton College one of the considerations uh, you know, for recent graduates? Well, I always think that a college that is regionally accredited and a career college and been around for 165 years, I think we always should be a good consideration. But in times like this, um, I think as a parent, I would be thinking, would I like to keep my child local? Would I like to um, ensure that they're studying a program of study that's in demand? Um, do I want to make sure they're getting that personalized education as we're embarking on a different type of learning style? Um, so I think those are some really valid points that make Bryan and Stratton College a really good option any day, but especially in these times. And you raise fantastic point there. If, as we were looking ahead, you may have been planning for option A, but now we're considering option B, which may be staying closer to home, not heading to out-of-state college. Those plans may have changed. Mm -hmm. There may be students now, I've heard a lot of talk about gap year. So how does Bryant and Stratton College fit into maybe those considerations? Well, you know, it's tough. Right now, we're, we're in a very unknown period of time. And yet, I would say to a, a, a high school senior who's just graduated, you've worked really hard. And I know that there can be this feeling of maybe I should take the year off, wait till things settle down. But then you're delaying your career. You're, you're delaying moving forward by a year. And I would offer up the option of why don't you embark on something, you know, program of study that has that high demand and keep yourself moving because your career goals haven't changed. What you want out of life shouldn't have really changed. And so why put a pause on that when there are options? That's a great point to make. And as you do consider some of those options, enrolling can be one of those. Brian and Stratton College is ready for that. Definitely. We are prepared to talk to prospective students, talk about what their interests are, and to see if we have a program of study that could be a good match for them. Beth, when you've been with us in the past, we've talked about how there's basically a seamless bridge between this continuum of learning and heading out into the career that you are studying for. How has that changed? You work so closely with businesses to be, uh, to be the employers of the future for your graduates. How has that changed during these times? Well, we had to take a minute, but um, we've really adapted very well because we are a career college. And so we have figured out, okay, how do you get career services into the classroom to ensure that we're having those discussions with the students? How do we set up things like virtual job fairs? How do we keep those connections? So I'm really proud of our career services department because we still are working with the employers and making sure that we are providing our employers with the employees that they need. And it doesn't seem like Brian and Stratton College missed a beat. We've talked <laughs> about how, yes, yeah, some things, maybe there was a couple of pause points where you were considering, <laughs> but it doesn't seem like you've missed a beat. You're ready to continue and you're ready for enrollment for the fall semester. We are, you know, we talk about Brian and Stratton College for every and in life. And there's been some big ands recently. But again, I think we draw on our history. We've been around for 165 years. We've also been offering online classes for 20 years. And so you pull that expertise together, as well as being innovative and creative. And I really am proud of um, our faculty and staff and our students for the transition that they've made. 
Well, Beth Murphy, thank you for taking time. It's exciting to be able to look forward and see what's next and have that as a consideration. We appreciate talking with you. Oh, thank you very much. Always a plus. Bryant and Stratton College will be sure to share that information so that you can consider what's next.